We continue with our series on the significance of Christ's resurrection. With this, Christ's resurrection vindicates him as Messiah, fulfilling the scriptures. And we've already seen some evidence of this from our prior points and some of the other scriptures we've already looked at. For example, in the last video, when you looked at Acts 2 and Acts 13, both Peter and Paul's speeches there, as recorded by Luke and Acts, uh, they both ground their argument for Christ as the Messiah in appeals to Scripture. But let's look at some additional verses that make this clear as well. First, Acts 26, 22, and 23, and this is Paul speaking once again. To this day I have had the help that comes from God, and so I stand here testifying both to small and great, saying nothing, notice this, but what the prophets and Moses said would come to pass. Namely, that the Christ, or the Messiah, must suffer, and that by being the first to rise from the dead, he would proclaim light both to our people and to the Gentiles. So Paul is saying here that his message, it is nothing but what the prophets and Moses, the scriptures, that is the Pentateuch and the prophetic writings, it's nothing but what they themselves said would come to pass. Namely, that this Messiah figure would be one who would suffer and would rise from the dead. Also notice here, we will get into this more in a future video, but notice that Paul doesn't just say that he would rise from the dead, but that he would be the first to rise from the dead, signaling that the resurrection of this Christ is representative of a greater general resurrection, that it inaugurates that broader resurrection, being the first in a long order of resurrection. We'll touch more on that in another video. Let's look now at Acts 17, 2 through 3. This is Paul in Thessalonica. And Paul went in, as was his custom, and on three Sabbath days he reasoned from them, notice this, from the scriptures. Paul makes his case from the scriptures, here referring to the Old Testament scriptures, explaining and proving that it was necessary from the scriptures, necessary that what would be the case? That the Christ the Messiah, would suffer and rise from the dead. Therefore, proving that the Christ would be one who would suffer and rise from the dead, he then draws this conclusion. This Jesus, therefore, who of course suffered and rose from the dead, this Jesus whom I proclaim to you is that Christ from the scriptures. The point being, though, that Christ's resurrection then vindicates him as the Messiah, since his resurrection fulfills the scriptures about the Messiah. 